guys so i feel like it's been the longest time since i've last spoke to you guys mainly because i've not been particularly consistent at the moment and i fully hold my hands up and say that's gonna change going forward um but this video is gonna be a little bit different so it's gonna be some chat it's gonna be budget with me but it's going to be a tiny little surprise which i think i'm going to pop in at the end for you guys um so make sure you keep an eye out i was really nervous doing this video um but it will all make sense why um but what i will say is i've had a tiny clear up of my envelopes i've retired some of them maybe forever maybe just for now for what suits my needs at the moment um and you'll see that through the budget with me um so obviously we're budgeting for september although can you actually believe that it is september um it is thankfully only a four week month because i don't think i could survive if it wasn't although is it because it's technically i will get paid the last working day of the month which would be the 29th and I got paid on the Thursday, so yeah, it's technically four weeks, but anyway, um, my wages this month were 1,578, which actually, while we're here, let me just have a little look, because I was trying to work out the other day what I normally got paid for my old job, which it would help if I wrote it in, right, because I don't appear to have, um, okay, so we've got 1,400 here, yeah, it's about 1400 at my old job. That was obviously more because it was January and I had overtime and stuff. But I do make a little bit more at my new job. But it balances out because I do have to pay for travel um, at my new job, which you will see. But yes, I wanted to stop rambling now and just get into the budget with me. So let's move you guys down. So let me talk you through everything because I feel like it's been a while. Um, if you don't know, I currently live with my sister and my brother-in-law. I don't have to pay rent per se, um, but I give them £200 a month and that is to help them with their mortgage. Um, and so it's like my kind of rent. Um, very fortunate to be in the position to be able to do that. Um, next up is £50 I put into my Monzo and this is my Apple Pay. So this is my coffee money, my tap tap money, that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, then I put £50 in Chase. Now Chase is my personal savings account um, to do as I please. And when I tell you I have and it's not really a savings account anymore, it is a bit ridiculous. I need to crack down on myself and give myself a good talking to um, because... I think one of my goals this year was to actually save a thousand pounds in it and realistically I don't think that's plausible this year which is a bit sad but we're all human and I just guess I got a bit too happy with my money. Um, Spotify is £11 can you believe guys let's all cry about it. Um, my phone bill is £28. Um, as standard, YouTube, aka my portion of YouTube Premium, works out at £4. I share it with a group of friends um, and it works out a bit better. Amazon Prime, I've allocated £10 to. Gift Gaff is my dad's phone bill um, and he'll just give me however much he needs whenever. Um, usually it's like a couple of months in a go, he'll just give me the like 30 or 40 quid, whatever. Um, spec savers disgusting have put up their prices i mean in this year's state of economy or just in general the state of the economy and everything rising and it's not too surprising but it was 30 pounds and now it's gone up to 33 which is why i'm so thankful that i do always give myself some money as a buffer um for these very instances um apple storage is four pounds Netflix is £12. Uh, Kindle Unlimited is also £10. And my beautiful buffer that comes in so handy is £50. So those are my bills. This is, regardless of anything else, these need to be paid. 
um, I can't streamline any of my subscriptions because I use everything. Um, so I feel like I'm in a good position at the minute with everything. Um, so I've worked out all together that equates to £469. Then we're going to move on to uh, my Monzo Pops. So I don't know if these have changed for you. Um, I don't believe they have, but we'll go with it. So travel, um, like I mentioned, I do have to pay for commuting to work. The 30, I think it's 30 days or 31 days, maybe 30. Um, the 30 day bus pass, which luckily covers where I live, where I work, town, that kind of stuff, comes to £70. I milk this money so much because I go to town pretty much every weekend because I can, because I've got a bus pass. Anyway, um, so I budget £80 just in case I need like one Uber or something a month. Um, so £80 went in there this month. It is my mum's birthday this month. Everyone gets £50 for their birthday. It's just something I've always budgeted for. Um, if you are a long time subscriber and watcher, you will know that I, well, me and my siblings, my sisters, we decided that because it's my mum's big birthday that we were essentially paying for my dad and her to go on a cruise um, for their anniversary slash her birthday. And they actually went on it less than a month ago. Um, so realistically, we don't have to give her anything or get her anything more. And she doesn't actually want anything more. But I've bought her perfume and me and my siblings are putting some money together so we can get her one of her like, favourite cakes, which is one of those eggless cake box cakes, I think, hopefully, um, and some balloons. So that will be about £30. But if I see anything, I might get her like a nice personalised card from Etsy or something because it is a big birthday, um, which she'll hate me for saying, I'm sure. Uh, Leah Budgets is getting £20. And that is because, OK, so I don't know whether to change the name of this envelope because, uh, fun fact for you, I also recently started a BookTok account that's more of like, not a Leah Budgets thing, but just a me thing um because I love book talk and I've been talking about it for ages I love watching them I'm starting to enjoy making them although I do have a tiny bedroom and I don't live by myself so it's a bit hard to create content that form but we move so I really want to get a logo created because I hate the picture I'm using at the minute for my TikTok and I have seen someone does them but I'm a bit iffy about that so we've just budgeted it in case I just changed my mind. If anyone down below knows anyone that does that kind of logo creation, it won't be any wording, or maybe. It's mostly a silhouette I want, like a cartoonish. So you won't actually see me. Does that make sense? Like you won't be able to tell it's me, but you'll notice like I have brown hair with blonde highlights but you won't see my eyes or I don't know if I'm making any sense to you but if anyone knows what I'm talking about and has any suggestions leave them below for me please clothing got a hundred pounds now this might seem a bit mad but there is a theme to the madness so it is obviously coming into autumn winter a lot of my jumpers and stuff I had to get rid of last year because the boys touch anything and then touch me so I'm often stained etc etc so I knew that at some point I would have to pick up bits and bobs not too much and I also really want to get a pair of Doc Martens for the colder months I did go into the shop today and I've decided which ones I want I will try and leave a picture here um but they are £199 so I can either save the money for them or I can wait till Black Friday, but I really want them before Black Friday, so we'll see. I also did spend some of this money today, like I said, on bits and bobs for winter. Some, oh, some cardigans, a jumper, some pyjamas, all that fun stuff. So we're not currently at 100, we're like halfway down. Um, So yeah, 
me money is gonna get 20 pounds again i used some of this today to grab some things that were necessarily but weren't um i didn't even go in there for the things that i bought so i thought you know what it's me things it'll make me happy that's what it's coming out of christmas is getting its usual 80 pounds i need to start thinking about what everyone wants it's all right budgeting for it but i need to figure out what they want treat yourself is also getting 30 pounds which i'm excited about clearly by the sound of my own voice um then we move over to cash envelopes so this month my hair is getting 60 pounds that is because i'm trying to make it easier on myself and divide my next appointment amount by how many months in between my only downfall is i want to get my hair done before the three months are up maybe next month something like that which means next month i potentially might need to budget about 100 pounds which is a lot but it'll make me happy i want to be more autumnal i want to be like some orange hues and some red hues um anyway essential is basically toiletries and eyebrows and things and that's getting 10 pounds i don't particularly need anything but we are putting money where we can beauty treatments is getting 50 pounds i did also budget which i'll put in brackets i did also budget 45 but i've already used this um i ended up doing it digitally because i hadn't got any cash out um and i got it done friday yesterday so yesterday i went and got a facial it's like the best facial i've ever had i swear to god um and it was well worth it and it's 45 pounds so that was great uh clothing is getting 10 pounds like i said i do have the electronic one so this one is just building for when i need things self-care is also getting 10 pounds don't really need anything nights out also getting 10 pounds i don't have anything planned but i believe i have a, some money in there so it's just rolling on home is also getting 10 pounds it's basically it should just be called b m because i basically use it for cleaning products and organization uh coffee is getting 20 pounds it works out five pounds per week and this is the money that i will use when i go and edit my videos in starbucks so every Sunday I will go and edit my videos if I haven't already at home. Um, and that's like my treat to myself. Food is 120. So this one, you'll notice has gone up quite a bit. And that is because I'm properly being realistic with how much money I need for food. I luckily only have to grab anything I want, anything, even that I'm, I can get away with a lot. But... I like to go to Sainsbury's and just meal prep for the week for work um, because I don't have money to just keep going to the nearest shops around and grabbing stuff. Um, so I think £30 a week, which works up to 120 is a good starting point to see where I can manage my money food-wise. Bad days are getting £10. I've not got anything except my mum's birthday, but I'm trying to build it up health is getting 10 pounds again we're just building up because we're coming into autumn winter and colds and flus and stuff creep in um but in general we are all good <laughs> driving is getting nothing it's not a priority and um, i have a couple of hundred pounds in there so we're good neither is car at the minute they're not up there on my priority list emergency is getting 20 pounds we're slowly building this up i ideally want to build it up a lot quicker but it's not a major priority and Christmas is getting nothing because the electronically the electronic version is more of our focus um this is just for like niggly bits and advent calendars and stuff like that um then I just wanted to make note that I've popped 200 pounds into my savings and we allocated 160 pounds into savings this month um obviously it will all become clear as you see my next videos but that is my budget for the month um so yes i hope 
it makes sense obviously like I said I have whittled things down a little bit and got rid of some envelopes that just didn't serve me or spread me too thin um or it might have just been that my priorities changed so I got rid um but yeah I'm super nervous for the next bit of my video but I hope that you enjoy it I can't believe I'm actually doing this hi guys I thought it was time to introduce myself to everyone. I have been somewhat anonymous to a lot of you and it's been a comfort thing knowing that not everyone knew who I was, but we're on a different growth journey right now and we're coming into our power. So I thought it was only right that I introduced myself to you whether you are a new subscriber a new watcher or you are one of my loyal ones hi my name is leah i am the face behind leah budgets and it's so good to meet all of you what i wanted to come on here and say is that my channel and my instagram account will be changing somewhat and that is because I don't like the idea that I am just Leah Budgets and I fit into one box because I don't, I am many things, many names, I wear many hats um, and I think it's important to share that with you guys. So we are going to go on a journey and I say we, you can get off at any point but if you want to join me, you absolutely can. We are going to be doing, obviously, budgeting. We will never be leaving budgeting. Budgeting is the fundamental. But we will be budgeting. We will be building new and important habits. We will be journaling, getting into focus with our faith. Obviously, not for everyone. We will also be exercising, manifesting, all of that general goodness. But what you'll find is my channel and Instagram will be adapting to that. So not too drastically, I'm not going to lie to you. Um, it might be the occasional vlog or something of that, to that nature. Um, but I just wanted to share that with you guys. We are not just sitting in one box anymore. Um, but we are still staying true to our roots and here we are. So yes, that is what's happening. I will leave you to get on with the rest of the video if I have anything left. If not, I hope you enjoyed the video. <laughs> but until I see you next time, bye guys.